In the 1970s, it took the world of cinema by storm. 咁啊，到自己出嚟嗰個時代，幾乎係你識功夫，你都做得主角噶啦。It created a new generation of international stars like Jet Li. 我记得我从小十一岁第一次看电影，动作电影，可能就是李小龙演的这个《精武门》。It introduced the incomparable Bruce Lee, the man who brought Hong Kong to the filmmakers of Hollywood. 首先佢哋好欣赏就系香港人拍动动作片嘅特色啦，咁佢哋亦都好希望咧能够将呢种特色咧带入去啊美国片里边。It's Hong Kong's unique gift to the history of movie making. Kung Fu. Kung Fu can trace its history to the famous Shaolin Temple, where the monks taught martial arts. The temple was burned down in the 17th century by the unpopular Manchu government for harboring dissidents. The survivors fled southward and set up secret martial arts schools, notably in the province of Canton. Weapons were banned, so the martial artists practiced with the fist, the foot, and the pole. It was in a Canton martial arts school that cinema found its first kung fu hero. Wong Fei Hung first hit the screen in 1949. The leading role. The true story of Wong Fei Hung was played by the actor Quan Tak Hing, a part he would subsequently reprise 75 times, so placing the Wong Fei Hung films in the Guinness Book of Records as the longest-running series ever. He Wong Fei Hung because he is representing a background that is the Chinese people's hero. Not only telling the story of a generation of monks, a monk, a monk, a strong hero. 走出咗一個叫超級英雄，咁就呢個叫王飛鴻。王飛鴻 was a real life character who died in 1924. He was a famed sifu or martial arts master, a skilled lion dancer, and a practitioner of Chinese medicine. In his hometown of Fatsan, in the mainland Chinese province of Canton, a museum and lion dance center celebrates his memory. A revealing facet of the museum is a room entirely dedicated to the actor who originally played him in the movies, Quan Ta King. Neither, it seems, would have been famous without the other. The public always confused my father with the Wu Wang Fei Hong. There were many times he was addressed on the street or, or in the restaurant and in other places as Master Wong versus his real name of Guan Da King. The real Wong Fei Hong represents righteousness, represents uh, a respect to others, uh, represents uh, the, the goodness, uh, not just martial art of uh, fighting, but of, of being fair. <laughs> Quan Ta King's opponent was usually played by Se Kin, who a generation later would play the villain opposite Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon. Se Kin remembers the financial importance of the Wong Fei Hung brand. Sometimes, when he was young, he was young. 咁佢就揾王飛鴻夾夾啦。王飛鴻咧，乜王飛鴻乜下面嗰個名咧，咁就去賣外埠版權啦。個個人都拍得，所以又拍得咁多。Such is the popularity of the Wong Fei Hung character that he's seen many interpretations, as a clowning Jackie Chan in Drunken Master. 坐穩陣啊！
as a cartoon character for children. And most recently, as Jet Li in Choi Hak's Once Upon a Time in China. For 50 years, Wong Fei Hung, and with him the whole kung fu genre, has been steadily evolving. In the beginning, though, it was all quite haphazard. in the early 60s, directors began employing real-life martial artists to choreograph the fights for them. Credited as martial arts instructors, they were brought in initially to work on the popular swordplay films, working out the moves and teaching the actors how to fight. Preeminent amongst them was Lao Ka Lung, who choreographed fights for the great Hong Kong director, Zhang Che. In time, Lao Ka Lung went on to become a director in his own right. Today, on a purpose-built studio lot in Shanghai, he's working on his latest movie, Drunken Monkey. He's director, star, and choreographer. Lao is a Sifu, or master martial artist. But not all his actors are expected to be Kung Fu experts. During breaks in the shooting, performers are coached for the next scene. Shannon Yao, the female lead in Drunken Monkey, is learning martial arts for the first time. I will find out where his power come from. Like he, if he do this, something like this, if I just do this, you will see no power. And when I saw him, he do this from inside the power, like this. And then I can feel that that's the power come from. And every movement, he will teach me slightly, swiftly, and precisely. Once I, I do it, he say, OK, go. Lao Ga Lung is unusual in being both director and choreographer. He improvises the fight moves on the set, carrying the whole sequence in his head. Even without storyboards, Lao can create extremely complex fights. It's the way Hong Kong cinema has traditionally worked. Even a scene like the famous ladder fight in Once Upon a Time in China was created move by move in the studio. Nam in the late 1960s, martial arts movies had become Hong Kong cinema's most successful genre. 
Run Run Shaw, head of the Shaw Studio, announced a new century of martial arts. People go to the uh, cinemas, they want some uh, excitement, and the action is always uh, uh, received well by the people. The incredible output of movies at this time from studios like Shaw's meant Hong Kong filmmakers had to learn techniques for working fast. A director might easily make five or more films in a year. This is a the pressure to work fast and improvise had an interesting consequence. A style of directing unique to Hong Kong, known as editing in the camera. In feature films elsewhere, the actors normally repeat the whole of the action several times. This allows the director to film a variety of angles. On the first take, a wide shot. On the second take, a mid shot. On the third take, a close-up. As the action is identical in each case, at any given point, the editor will have a choice of three shots. So the edited version might look like this. Selecting one picture size, then another. For reasons of time and money, Hong Kong directors would shoot each segment of the fight just once. Lao Ga Fai, actor brother to Lao Kao Long, demonstrates a kung fu routine. Now, for the benefit of our camera, he shows how the same routine is broken down into one-off takes, each one picking up from where the last left off. This is what is meant by editing in the camera. By 1970, the fashion for swordplay was on the wane, and the craze for kung fu had begun in earnest. Although this was the decade of Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, neither artist typified the kind of kung fu films the Hong Kong audience would soon be watching by the hundreds. Seventies kung fu films had come a long way from the genteel Quan Ta King. The action was violent now, and the plot vengeful. <laughs> they followed popular formats, recycling favorite elements over and over again. La Ga Leung's classic kung fu film, Challenge of the Masters, perfectly illustrates all the archetypal ingredients of the kung fu plot. To begin with, there's rivalry between two martial arts schools, one of whom doesn't play by the rules. This is Next, the hero, here played by Lao Ka Fai, is humiliated by being unable to defend himself. He's taken in hand by a Sifu and becomes his disciple. <laughs> the two years training are spent in seclusion. The discipline is arduous. The disciple must always be subservient to the Sifu, the Sifu contemptuous of the disciple. <laughs> Tortuous exercises are a staple ingredient.
But the plot requires a motive, and the motive is always revenge. The hero's friend and mentor is killed by a criminal member of the rival martial arts school using a secret weapon. The disciple is inspired to even greater efforts to become the supreme martial artist. But his thirst for vengeance must be tempered by tolerance. Finally, the hero returns to take his revenge. But remembers the words of his master. Kung 武術呢,我我我怕我給你呢,係有道德嗰種係一種維持一種點到直至唔會唔會拍咩,送。Lagar Lung's films lay great stress not just on morality, but on the physical training of the kung fu hero. In Eight Diagram Pole Fighter, Yang is a soldier who takes refuge in a monastery. Buddhism forbids the monks from taking life, so they practice their one martial skill, pole fighting, on wolves made of wood. Yang turns his spear into a pole and learns the monk's defanging technique. The practice subsequently proves useful in the showdown with the enemy. In the 36th chamber of Shaolin, one of Hong Kong's most celebrated kung fu films, the training becomes the story itself. This is the basic training. You must 提着水上斜坡,倒在藏水处,留下石里,让水。The hero, Sante, learns martial arts at the famous Shaolin Monastery in order to avenge the death of his family. He has to graduate from each chamber in turn, where outlandish exercises have been devised to improve his strength and skill. The course takes him five whole years.
双手掏腰，头用劲顶开沙包，到佛祖前上一炷香。是。The choreographers of the 70s were first and foremost martial artists themselves. Often they drew on the practices of the martial arts schools, then made their own elaborations. In real life, martial artists train on a wooden dummy. In the challenge of the masters, the filmmakers added some extra. Jackie Chan in Drunken Master takes a routine exercise and adds his own inventiveness. Kung Fu in the cinema needs to be entertaining, so is not necessarily the same as real Kung Fu. Lung Ting has experience of both. Today, he's Grandmaster of the Wing Chun School of Martial Arts. In the 1970s, he was a top cinema choreographer. Of course, if you want to play a movie, you need to think very carefully about whether this is possible or whether this is possible. Because there are many real techniques. 上鏡未必係好睇嘅，你就要刪除嗰啲啦。或者譬如甚至冇玩一套拳係有一啲套路咧，重複完又重複。如果你真係上鏡咧，咁樣拍法咧就會悶死觀眾咯。咁所以喺構想一啲嘢入邊咧，就要可以講係攞最靚嗰啲鏡頭俾觀眾睇。In real life, the martial arts schools practice a number of different styles. Pitting of one style against another was a favorite theme of the kung fu film. And once the real styles were exhausted, the martial arts directors simply invented new ones. In the Five Venoms, the villains practice different styles named after poisonous creatures. It was Long Ting's job to make the styles up. 嗱，白竹係最難諗嘅，因為根本冇呢樣嘢噶。咁啊點咧？白竹一條長嘅形，又咁多腳。於是咧，我就諗到咧，有一個演員咧，係好似譬如話，我哋永春都係以快打慢。我就諗到一個演員咧，佢可以用好快嘅手，一打出嚟咧，好似一條白竹咁，好多手好多手影啊！<笑>在回到第三十六层，小人物创造了自己的风格。他是一个钢丝工人，正在守望在少林寺外，观察他们在他们的武术表演中。这样，他在工作中，他逐渐培养出自己的技巧。
When it comes to the inevitable showdown with his enemies, they find there are few defenses against scaffolders' kung fu. But despite the inventiveness of the choreographer, the basic fighting style of these kung fu films had changed little since the days of Wong Fei Hung. The combatants parry one another's moves endlessly, with neither actually landing a blow for minutes on end. No one pretends it's realistic. But there was another kind of kung fu film, the product of a one-man phenomenon whose influence on martial arts cinema would be legendary. The phenomenon was Bruce Lee. He took the whole kung fu and took the whole kung fu. He was the first one to put the kung fu in there. You three kung fu, boom, boom, boom. Wow, it's so much. Don't do 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 so much. 就中啦！所以觀眾睇另外一格。Bruce Lee believed that kung fu in the cinema should be no different from the real kung fu he practiced, a style of his own making. 佢話俾我聽，佢喺美國練緊截拳道。我又問佢咩叫截拳道，話鬥快咯，劈，你出拳。我要發過你嘅，叫截拳刀。呢陣我拍過一一場戲，一場嘅啫，一個鏡頭拍一一場戲。嗰陣時誒《精武門》，係嘛？第一場戲就打打嘅，我啲行物嗰陣時賣，邊個同佢打嘅？即係你知啊，你小龍嘅叻嘅嘛，賣嗰啲一下一下就瞓低，一下瞓低嘅啦嘛。邊要同你打咁多下㗎？係嘛？個個都係㗎啦，即係。佢對呢個電影嘅貢獻同埋對武術嘅貢獻係完全係相當之犀利嘅，同埋一個係好新好新嘅啟示，同埋喺視覺上啊，對人嘅人對武學上嘅觀點啊，同埋個理論啊，都係唔一樣嘅。That is the expression of the human body. I mean the everything. I mean you know not just the hand. And when you're talking about combat, well, I mean if if it if it is a sport now, now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules. But when you're talking about fighting, as it is, no rules. with no rules, no real fighting. Well, then, baby, you better train every part of your body. And when you do punch, now I'm leaning forward a little bit, yeah. hoping not to hurt any camera angle. Yeah. I mean, you gotta put the whole hip into it and snap it and get all your energy in there and make this into a weapon. 佢俾我哋不單止淨係話喺武術上嘅觀點，嗰、那個、那個觀摩，同喺民族上嘅意識，啊，同埋喺誒誒武學上嘅理論同埋哲學，俾我哋有俾我哋有好大嘅感受。我記得我從小十一歲第一次看電影動作電影嘅，就是李小龍演的這個李小龍演的精《精武精武門》。你當自己係帶入嗰個狗仔，我帶你入去玩。早期的中國的電影都比較強調自我意識很強，就是說中國人全是好的，那不管是日本人、外國人、西洋人，所有人都是壞的，在電影裡去描寫。<笑>外景就拍曬啦，咁啊到過咗舊歷年咧，休息後咧就闖景。我自己喺化妝室啊就化妝，佢喺我身後行過，行過就坐喺啲邊，忽然有句話：佢係堅叔，我唔會有你咁長命。我點解啊，細侄？佢老豆係我朋友啊嘛，所以我。叫佢做細侄，我話舊時咧，你靠武術食飯，梗係要成日練啦。而家你做電影啦，應該俾啲時間休息下。佢話我當電影係副業咁嘅啫，咁冇得講啦。
Bruce Lee died in 1973 of a cerebral edema at the age of 33. How old are you? It's the best. It's the best. No one can see it. All of you can see it. It's really good. Now, our image is the wrong power. I'm going to think about it. But his influence was everywhere. Chen Shi, the king of swordplay, now began directing kung fu films with the same dramatic realism. So he did that kind of real work. That kind of film, like Chen Kun Tai, he did that kind of film. That kind of film is a kind of film. It's not like that kind of film. But the new realism came at a price for the actors. Our actors are all suffering. Even if the actors are not playing, they are not playing. 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 嚇！咁有一個鏡頭咧，就係話要佢咧好出力咁樣打落我個肚嗰度，咁我就成個人反應咁樣。但係咧冇冇任何嘅 pack 嗰啲嗰啲保護嘅嘢，咁導演就俾個劇本我，叫我塞咗喺度。咁我好，我記得應該係俾佢打廿幾拳，佢仲又係衝埋嚟嚇咁樣好用力，咁我就啊佢好用力咁飛埋入邊。咁我就全部係。嗰日就係冇食飯，就係、是、飲水。飲完水俾佢打，打完出厂就嘔，嘔完翻入嚟又拍。咁嗰度嗰一日係差唔多俾佢打咗幾個鐘頭。咁係直情喊咯，即係一路拍一路喊。Apart from the realism of action sequences, Bruce Lee had left another legacy in the character of the hero. Gone now was the gentlemanly, philosophic Wong Fei Hung. Actors like Alexander Fu Sheng portrayed a new swaggering working class hero, respectful only of his own fighting talents. Fu Sheng was the leading man of the Shaw studio and heartthrob of the female audience. In 1974, he teamed up with another rising star, Chen Kun Tai, in Heroes 2. Chen Kun Tai was a champion martial artist who started out as a film extra. In Heroes 2, he plays Hong, a rebel who fights his way out of the burning Shaolin Temple and becomes a fugitive. A famed martial artist, played by Fu Sheng, is tricked by the Manchu into capturing him, believing him to be a murderer. When he finds out his mistake, he's filled with remorse and sets out to rescue Hung. I'm here! Hong大哥, I'm dead. I'm 
上了他们的当，以为你是一个杀人不眨眼的大盗。方小姐，你要是拉得脱，我也睁得开了。你叫我兄弟。Alexander Fusheng was director Zhang Che's favorite actor, tipped to become the major kung fu star. But his career was cut short. While filming Eight Diagram Pole Fighter in 1983, he was killed in a car accident. Meanwhile, other actors were hoping to step into the shoes of Bruce Lee. Come on, wow, that guy is the main guy. Wow, all my friends and friends are not the main guy. Come on, all of them are like, ah, you. 全部係李小龍。我記得、呃、李小龍時代，哇，好多嘅英文嚟講，尤其是英文添啊，喺外國 ，Bush Lee、Bush Lie、Bush Table、Bush Chair、Bush Everything Blues。Even 我都係呢誒 Second Bush Lee， 唔係個海報係 Second 啊 Second Bush Lee。Jackie Chan， 你即係你嚟遠睇個海報就見到 Bush Lee Starring， 但係你再睇少少咧就係 Second。Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, welcome. Yeah. Bruce Lee was an impossible act to better, so Kung Fu directors looked around for an alternative. They found it in comedy. <laughs> It was Lao Ka Lung who led the way with his first film as director, Spiritual Boxer. Spiritual Boxer tells the story of a confidence trickster, a conjurer who claims he becomes possessed by the spirits of the gods. 小民在，你要和尚人丁平安，五谷丰登，六畜无病，你就要点香膜拜。是是是是，拜拜，还要大鱼大肉款待做法师傅，是他盘缠不得有误。是是是是是。But he's an amiable rogue who uses his skill to defend the downtrodden. It's a virtuoso performance by Wang Yu and was hugely popular at the box office. Lao went on to make in the same comedy vein what many consider the one true kung fu masterpiece, Dirty Ho. In Dirty Ho, a prince traveling incognito teams up with a thief who becomes his kung fu disciple. Assassins are out to kill the prince. In this scene, one of them, masquerading as an antique dealer, tries to attack the prince while pretending to make a sale. This is Tang Chao Yang Zhi Bai Yu Ru Yi. Next guy's dealer, good work. Good work. The prince feigns not to notice the attack while simultaneously defending himself. These complex routines were as close to juggling as to combat. Good pen. Good pen. But Lao Ka Long was not the only one looking for a new kind of kung fu after Bruce Lee's death. Then I thought, how do I 
同 Bruce Lee 唔同，我睇佢，佢係好 superhero， 我唔係 superhero， 佢係誒一錘打完你，嗯係咁樣好，我就一錘打完人哋啊，我佢佢起腳咁高，我起腳咁低。咁佢做曬咩呢？誒冇咯喎 ，OK， 我加啲嘢啦，我再加啲關鬥，我再加啲<咳>過台跳嘢、呃，高難度嘅。英雄已死，小丑登場。呢八個字呢，實在我哋係講緊兩個人物。第一個人物呢，就係、是、李小龍，第二人物呢，就係、是、星龍。既然我哋做不成英雄，點解我哋唔做一個反面英雄 ？Anti Hero。或者我哋叫 come back hero， 喜劇英雄，咁啊就係俾佢攞到呢個 point。Jackie Chan brought clowning and acrobatics to kung fu. His background could not have been more different from Bruce Lee's. His kung fu came not from the martial arts school, but from the theatre. From the age of eight. Chan had been trained in a Beijing opera school. 除咗係有學唱歌啦、跳舞都有，跳舞啦、武術啦，有拳腳、刀槍劍擊、關鬥，乜嘢都有，即係差唔多係一個誒、呃、中國國粹一種總總匯合。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。The brutal discipline of the actual opera school attended by Jackie Chan was recreated in a 1988 movie, Painted Faces. The part of the Sifu was played by Sammo Hong, who had been a fellow pupil with Chan. Actually, I was just a fun day. That day, that memory, 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 嗰、那個時代喺度練功啊，成日唔會諗到極，唔會諗其他嘢，咁就係覺得又從新嘅又開始啦，睇點樣盡量少啲俾小打啦，即係咁啊！不許做，跑都冇車車偷東西，唔知打我，唔知三下五下，哇！一打完我即係我喊到啊，飛要走，唔知走去邊，爸爸又唔喺度，我叫阿媽，阿媽又唔喺度。But the discipline training paid off. Jackie Chan went on to adapt the skills learned in the opera school to a new style of cinema. Drunken Master, released in 1978, was his first major box office hit. This disrespectful take on the Wang Fei Hung story allowed Jackie to import his own comic inventions. 夜晚黑一定係同導演坐喺 coffee shop 講，聽日拍咩？聽日拍咩？呢、這個呢、這個呢、這個呢、這個。咁我好 lucky 嗰陣時，呢、這個袁和平導演就好聽我嘅。The novelty of the plot was that Chan's character has to learn his inebriated Sifu's drunken style of fighting. As no such style had ever existed, he was obliged to make it up as he went along. 當全部走曬，我自己一個人喺健身室對住塊鏡，點樣去擺呢個醉拳？點樣打靚佢？個手勢係應該點嘅？咁啊，自己對住塊鏡，唔係話我唔賣，我全部咁樣。好啦，點樣去聚？佢成佢係一個戲班，佢係戲班成長嘅一種藝術嘅功夫，唔係愛嚟，唔係一種馬術啊。去打嘅，佢系唱戏，类似京剧，一种功嘛功夫，一种艺术。Jackie Chan's brilliant slapstick was to be the final evolution of the kung fu film. While traditional martial arts movies continued to be made, kung fu fighting took a second course to emerge in modern-day action films. This time it was Hollywood who would have to learn from Hong Kong, inviting Chinese directors and choreographers like Corey Yun to show them how it's done. 
The man behind the action-packed fight scenes in X-Men, Yun had trained together with Jackie Chan and Sammo Hong at the Beijing Opera School in Hong Kong. Kung Fu films come uniquely from Hong Kong, where today they're already being made for a third generation of moviegoers. But they're also Hong Kong's gift to the world, a wholly original and unique contribution to the history of cinema. Sir! 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 